With all the hype that have built around Pathan since the short advent of movie detective run, I guess it's time we finally talk about the movie itself. So I'll first begin with the album review. Let's just get straight into it. The album only has four tracks, out of which two are full-length songs and two others are themes, making them realistically part of the soundtrack. So it's a bit muddy what's going on here, and which too is a shame because I really like the score of the film so far, as I've heard in the teaser and the trailer. So the soundtrack should have gotten its own release, but things are the way they are. The first song is Beisharam Rang. Now I've already made a video explaining why this song is so significant for the movie saying that this is perhaps the only high point of the movie other than which we'll probably have a lot of tension throughout the span of the film so this will work as a relief factor but get this over time i've grown to actually like the song a lot it sounds like a complete track and it's not trying to be the typical party songs indian cinema is offering these days you know unnecessarily sound with childish melodies and a lack of what makes party songs cool the bass drop the bass nobody even says that anymore right cuz most songs don't even have any bass man but Beisharam Rang does and it's an offbeat kind of song i wouldn't necessarily put it in the same categories as the newer beach party songs we're getting these days this song is now on my spotify playlist and will likely stay there i love it you know i know what's going on in the song it's probably going to be the interlude to the film's third act and most probably appearing at the same time as kungru did in war or Meherwa in Bang Bang. I mean, it even has the same musicians, Shilpa Rao on the mic, Vishal Shekhar doing their best. I like it. A solid 9 out of 10 song for me. The second song of the album is Chume Jo Pathan. And anybody who's seen a single Spyverse film can tell that this is oozing Swax Swagat vibes from Tigers in Dahir. With a bit of Lapata from Ekta Tiger to complete the exotic Middle East setting of the song. And the sound as well. I can definitely sense a vocoder used in the song as Arijit's voice is cracking through the earphones and it sounds like a song that definitely will come at the end. During credits so people can dance, enjoy, cheer and just have a jolly good time at the cinema, even as they're leaving. If the rumors of Salman Khan's cameo in this film as Tiger are to come true, then either he will show up at the time of the climax or a bit of a reference here and there. And if they're really going full swing with the Spyverse thing, then you can expect a post credit scene as well. I know I would definitely keep an eye on it. Jume Jo Patan is not the catchiest song, definitely not as catchy as Beisharam Rung, but I know for a fact that a good theater with Dolby Atmos sound will definitely make this song better to listen to. Probably better than the former. I love the look of the song, it's very carnivalesque. I don't know if that's a good way to describe it, but it just looks fantastic. The colors are precisely vibrant and SRK with Deepika both look extremely cool. Although I wish this was sung by Vishal Dadlani instead of Arijit because his voice just has a texture to it that adds to a strong, powerful, punchy song like this. Arijit to me has always belonged to love songs. And not to box him, but Dadlani is a master of adding the Ugh, you know what I mean? A good 8 out of 10 for this one. At this point, the thought must have occurred to you that the video is basically over because who cares about these two themes? Trust me, I do. I love Patan's theme. To me, it's the best theme I've heard for a character in over a decade. The previous one was Salman Khan's Tiger theme. This is honestly on par with the James Cameron movie ending song, in that it sounds rather generic, but it's so good in its context that it just works. Take Titanic's theme, the song My Heart Will Go On. I mean, it's a good song, but it wouldn't have nearly caught on as much as it did if it wasn't for the movie and it existing within that film's sphere. The same goes for this. Patan's theme just starts right off with such a conviction to its tone. And while the words are a bit generic and sung in a rather weird way, when all the, world is burning, and the theme distributes itself into two sections. Yet the first section that is optimistic and sounds rather patriotic. Just in the same way the theme of Top Gun Maverick does. Where you can't really point out what or why, but it sounds like it's the national anthem of some country. Or at least it should be. The funny thing is, this optimistic tone is complemented by completely unoptimistic words. Where the lyrics are talking about darkness, void and fear. And all these buzzer words begin to sound too typical. But when the last line says, He's the night. 
He's the light. <laughs> you can just get a feeling, you know. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but saying that Pardhan is the light just hits me, and it just feels great. The second section of the song sounds a bit villainous, and it works perfectly to show that Pardhan is indeed an almost anti-hero. That his memes aren't going to be conventional, and he's a rather risky individual. It kind of summarizes SRK's career, the anti-hero roles, the romance king, and the fact that SRK was orphaned at a young age and his character Pathan too is the same, as mentioned in the announcement. It just all fits in right. Everything has two sides. Everyone has two sides. But both being cool are all the SRKs. A 10 out of 10 for this one. Now, the fourth and the last track on the album, Jim's Theme, is actually the first theme the major audience has ever heard, as snippets from it were in the trailer, especially those children's choir tunes. It's a pretty cool tune, and it's more heavy than Pathan's. It doesn't kick that hard, but it emphasizes the short length within which you've got this theme. It's a good tune, man, and... It counters well that such a heavy and slow tune is in sync with childlike voices. Although I wish the theme was longer, eventually picking up pace and using the tunes from the teaser as its final section, it ends abruptly before that and just kind of fades away like it. A 7 out of 10 for this one. That sums up the entire rather short album of Pathan, Shah Rukh Khan's first film of 2023. Is it the most impressive album? No. But is it an album that is bad? No. It's actually a solid short album. Although I wish Tipika Padukone's character had her own theme, and instead of an Arabic version for Jhumi Jo Pathan, we had a remix or redux version with a more traditional sound, so it could have been used in the film's heightened drama scenes. But all in all, I love Pathan's theme, and listen to it when I'm going out for groceries, unlike all the crazy things Pathan is doing in this song. And I'm quite happy with how much I've come to appreciate Besham Rang as well. So to conclude, I'd give this album a strong 8 out of 10 and hope to do more album reviews for the big motion pictures in the future too. So thanks for watching. For all things related to Indian film analysis, stay right here on MDR at Movie Detective Run. And for cool shorts on world cinema and celebrity on the go, head over to GDR at Girly Detective Run. Thank you.